Unit 3. The Fossils and Protecting Species from Extinction. Lesson 1. Fossils. Fossils are traces and remains of old living organisms that are preserved in sedimentary rocks. Trace. Traces indicate the activity of once an old living organism during its life. Examples. Worm tunnel. Dinosaurs food print. Remains. Parts indicate the remains of once an old living organism after death. Examples. Remains of shark's teeth. Remains of dinosaur's skull. Types of fossils and ways of formation. The first type is fossil of complete body. The second type is cast. The third type is mold. The final type is petrified fossils. Let's talk about first about fossils of complete body. It's a type of fossils which were formed as a result of the rapid burying of the organism as soon as it died in a medium which preserves it from decomposition as snow or amber. It keeps the whole shape and all the details of the body. Examples of complete body fossils Mammoth fossil Mammoth was extinct by the snow elevanche occurred in Siberia 25,000 years ago. These are real images for a mammoth which were discovered inside snow. Amber. It is the solidified resinous matter which was secreted by pine trees in old geologic ages. These are real images for amber fossils. Cost. Solid cost. It is the replica of the internal details of a skeleton of once an old living organism. Note, solid cost is formed from hollow cost. Examples of solid cost fossils. Ammonite fossils. Namulites fossil. Terolobite. Fossil, which is an invertebrate animal. Mold. It is the replica of the external details of a skeleton of once an old living organism. Examples of mold fossils. Mold of ferns. Fish mold. Note the following. In the sedimentary rocks, mold or cast can be formed for once an old living organism. As you can see, mold or cost can be formed together, as you can see from these images. Petrified fossils. They are fossils in which minerals replace the organic matter for organism, part by part, leaving the shape without any change. Examples of petrified fossils. Dinosaur's tooth, dinosaur's eggs, petrified wood. Petrified woods, they are fossils which are formed as a result of replacing the organic matter of wood by the silica, part by part, and they give us details about the life of once an older plant. Petrification. It is the process of replacing the wood material of trees by silica to form petrified woods part by part. Suitable conditions for fossils formation. Presence of hard skeleton of organism. The organism body must be buried immediately after death in a medium that preserves it from decomposition. The existence of a suitable medium 
in which the mineral material replaces the organic material of the living organism. Importance of fossils. Fossils are important because they help in age determination of sedimentary rocks. Figuring out the hollow environment. Studying life evolution. And finally, in petroleum exploration. First, we will talk about age determination of sedimentary rocks. Index fossils. They are fossils of organisms that had lived for a short period of time in the past and had a wide geographic distribution, then became extinct. Figuring out the Apollo environment. Example 1. Namulites fossils. Namulites fossils indicate that there was a sea floor in this area more than 35 million years ago. Example 2. Ferns fossils. They indicate that the environment where they lived was a hot and rainy tropical environment. The third example is coral fossils. They indicate that the environment where they lived was clear, warm, shallow seas. Studying life evolution. Fossil record. The fossils that exist in the rocks of different areas that indicate the extinction and evolution of organisms. This is what is called by fossil record. Studying the fossil record showed that the life started first in sea, then established on land. Organisms always developed from symbol to complicated as algae appeared before moses and ferns. Angiosperms appeared before gymnosperms. Invertebrates such as corals and mollusks with shells appeared before vertebrates. Fish were the first vertebrates that appeared, followed by amphibians, then reptiles, and finally birds and mammals appeared together. Studying the fossil record show that Archropetrix fossil is considered a link between reptiles and birds. There was an old living organism which is called Archropetrix, which is considered a linkage between reptiles and birds. Petroleum exploration. Geologists take samples from the rocks of the exploratory wells. If they contain macrofossils like foraminifera and radiolaria, this could point to the age of frogs existed in exploratory wells. The conditions are suitable for petroleum formation. This is the end of lesson one. Thanks for watching.